Good morning, modern steaders. It's a nice balmy 43 degrees out this morning and windy. I got a phone call last night from the pig farmer and the pigs will be ready sometime next week. So that's exciting. I was thinking before we were gonna put the pigs in this area. <gasps> we can't because they're coming and that's gonna be in the way. So we're gonna put the pigs over here. It's kind of quiet around here without any pigs. This morning, we've got some more work to do before they get here. I don't want to give the secret away, but I want you to take one good look around here. That's the only hint I'm gonna give you. That's it. You gotta follow me. I feel like I got an entourage around here lately with all my chickens following me. You, uh, I guess not, they didn't like that. It's taken me about two hours so far to move as much of the wood chip pile that I've moved. Where I'm moving it to isn't where I planned on, but if I don't need to move the chip pile. But if I don't move it, it's gonna be missing once they start working. They said they'd move it, but I'm sure they're just gonna kind of scatter it around and I want to use the wood chips for something. So we're mulching around that apple tree and we're mulching around these apple trees and last year we planted three blueberry bushes right around this time last year. Right here we got one, two, three and they're doing really well in this area. So hopefully this year we can get some more blueberry bushes and plant them in the, this area again. I'm just trying to clean up in here, making it look a little bit nicer up against the stone wall. It's looking good, but I'm gonna run out of wood chips. I need to stop right now though, because you gotta have a little fun. We wanna get our tomato plants transplanted into our large soil blocks. And then after that, we're gonna go out and check out a store that one of the modern steaders was talking about in the comments the other day.
What's that? Yeah. This used to be. That's huge. <laughs> that is huge. We need it that <laughs> big. <laughs> Holy smokes. It's a big one. <laughs> go big or go home. Well, the way I look at it is our soil here isn't the greatest. So that'll be some awesome soil for the plants to grow in. Right, and until where we're building up our soil. And then while we're building up our soil. Yeah, fun fun. Looks <laughs> <laughs> good. Let's see. Let's see what happens. Exciting. So you set it in there? Now we need like a sticker or something to support that. So what are we gonna go get? I don't know. But realistically, this isn't that much bigger than the pots we No, no, it's in. not. It's not. It just looks massive. Well, from what size it was to that, yeah. Right. But it needs it. It does. Oh goodness. Here goes nothing. That one's really tall. Look at that one. Well, I think it was the first one I did. One of the first ones I've used. Oh, well, the sticks are falling. Maybe we shouldn't put those until after. What do we have? 15? 15. 15 transplanted. Them will be some nice tomato plants once they start setting roots in those bigger soil holes. Sorry I messed them up. We don't know what's what right now. I got too excited last weekend, I guess. <laughs> Alright. You girls ready for lunch? Ready yeah. for lunch. Let's go.
Remember that? I'm gonna get a cannoli. I'm gonna get a cannoli. You got a cannoli last time. I Yours is huge. No transplant shock. Oops. No, but they're not gonna get it being a soil blocks. They look good. What's that? Don't they? I think I need a couple more sticks up, so it's gonna I know, right? You're a crazy cat. No.